Today, we are going to be escorting a massive load through Oklahoma. We're working with the local DOT. They have got the roads all blocked off for us. And the load has just pulled into the county down here in town. It's sitting, waiting for its ex escort to come and pick it up. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. All right, here we are. Let's turn on our wishy wash light. And we're going to get lined up, ready to escort this guy. Let me just run back here and talk to the driver real quick and we'll hit the road. Yep, they've got it all sh they got it all shut down. We're ready to roll. I'm tuned in to channel 19 on the CB. If you need me, just call on in. All right, let's hit the road, boss. All right, he is ready to roll and so are we. They've got the roads all shut down and we're going to get right on into it. So let's get to rolling here nice and easy as we pull out. We're going to take both lanes here probably just because it's going to be easiest for us. There he comes picking up some speed trying to stick behind us there so he is gonna follow our path now we have to set a good path for him otherwise we will be the reason he ends up getting stuck as you guys can see he's got a massive load and a massive trailer right back there so we've got to do the best we can to make sure that he is able to get where he needs to go all right we're coming up to our turn here so what we're gonna do is get him swung way over here now they have all the traffic shut down mostly except for traffic going one from there they could still come in this way so he's gonna swing real wide with us here we're just gonna make sure that he is able to clear these turns now he might have a problem right there so we're gonna cut him back over this way we're gonna hope that he's able to clear that just fine he's having an interesting time make that turn there but it looks like he's gonna clear it just barely clearing that Ooh, almost hitting that pole oh man i think our driver just hit the pole hold on buddy all right let's walk back here and check it out see what happened yeah he did get over here in favor all oh, the bucket the bucket got it yeah that bucket sits a little wider than the trailer overall that's the problem okay all right so what we're he's gonna have to do is try and back himself out of this situation here which is not going to be an easy one because that pole has gotten between the trailer tire and the bucket there that is that is a bad situation well we're, we just started this trip and we are already in a bad situation here so the problem is is we are not going to be able to get this thing kind of finagled around this pole and we don't want to hit it repetitively because we're going to knock out the power to the whole town here if we do that so we're going to have to find a creative way to get this around this pole all right y'all we were able to call in another truck we don't have a tow truck coming but we were hoping that what we're going to do is use this truck to skid this trailer over so we've got a chain to try and connect onto it here but in order to do that we first have to remove this rear bump yeah, boss, you're going to be sitting there for a while. Appreciate you putting your flashers on, though. All right, so what we're going to do is get this decoupled here. All right, we got that disconnected. We've got all the cables disconnected. Now what we're going to do is try and give it a push. Woo! Okay, we got it pushed back a little ways. It's a little heavy. So now what I want to do is use this truck to pull that out of the way. All right, guys, I'd hate to say it, but I don't think that's going to work. I tried. I can't get back here. This is just too large of a deal. The way it couples is so much different than what I have the ability to hook up to. So let's push this back on and oh all right we got that pushed back on now we're gonna position our truck behind it here you know thinking about this maybe i did want to leave that disconnected but we'll try it this way all right right about there line it up and now we gotta hook it up all right so we've got our chain hooked up to the rear booster here the and now now we gotta see if we can't pull this off over this direction now we probably should have done this on anything other than the booster yeah yeah we definitely should have oh, oh, oh easy all right we pulled it a a little bit but i'm thinking that's not yeah that's not working okay this booster is just not gonna work so here i'm gonna decouple this and just pull this back all right we got that disconnected now we're just gonna kind of pull this booster back out of the way here all right that well let's just pull it all the way all right there we go that should do and we got the chain disconnected hey shut up man we're working on it so now we're gonna try and pull this without the booster see if we can't get that yanked over a little bit more all right we got our tow chain connected now let's see if we can do this i'm gonna turn the wheel all the way this way and we're gonna see if we can just give it a light little tug come on 
Come on, come on, pull it off of it. Come on. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be bad. Oh, all right, easy, easy, easy. All right, wait. We're we're making a little bit of progress. Not quite. I mean, I think we're actually pulling this thing off of our trailer here a little bit. We'll keep going and see what happens here. All right, there we go. I think we might have got it. Let's remove our chain here. Yeah, we've definitely shifted that on its load. Ooh. Well, I'll pull this truck away here. I think that might do um we'll see how we deal with the load having shifted now there we go got that now let's see if we can just pull out here just a little ways make sure we're clear and past it and we are all right i think we've got that fixed let's get rolling here again oh gosh and we're gonna have to deal with uh-huh uh-huh buddy i know let's just snake you around this as best we can here no promises that you're gonna actually clear it you know what if you hit it you hit it hey look at that we cleared it nice we are able to sneak through there all right we're rolling again our load is a little shifted and we should probably take care of that but right now we've got to deal with the train track now nobody's coming are you able to get across it don't get hung up now come on keep going keep going there you go there you go perfect that's what i love to see Whew. all right we gotta do another one of these and right past it that's perfect Perfect, dude. We are, we're cooking. We're getting good progress now. Another one here in town. Back over. And he cleared that one as well. Now get all the way over. Oh, easy, 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 easy. You're going to hit that. You're going to hit that, dude. You got to get over. Get over here. Don't hit it. There you go. Get all the way over. We're going to take middle road. There you go, boss. Perfect. Boy, I tell you what, I never thought that being the pilot car of this would be so difficult. There is so much we got to watch out for and pay attention to out here. But but it's all working just fine. We're cruising along at a nice easy speed here. I just don't want him to end up clipping anything. Better slow than sorry is what I'm saying. So we don't want another incident like we just dealt with. Woo! Ooh, look at this guy blowing smoke back here though do you see all that this thing is crazy heavy i mean you can see it his his truck is bouncing even he's putting a lot of torque into pulling this thing yeah there you go just keep right down the middle that's perfect there you go buddy perfect right through oh no that's a low bridge y'all who planned the route a 14.9 oh we're not fitting under 14.9 boys all right here's the deal how far over here can i get you to go because this is going to be the lower side we're gonna have to watch it now we might just clear that we might just all right easy 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 dude we cleared it did we yeah yeah we cleared that first one fine the problem is uh the problem is my game just crashed Hey, we're back. I just had to take a phone call. Uh, yeah, that'll be the excuse. Anyways, we did make it under this first one. So I think uh, this is the lower one. They both say the same clearance, but this one's actually less because of the hills going up. And seeing how we barely made it under that one, I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually very certain we're not going to make it over this one. So we'll have to figure it out. Why don't you say, Jim? Jim, did you, did you, just, I didn't know Sarah came and took, okay. Well, I guess we're driving with Sarah today. Jim must have uh, saw that bridge and said, nope, I'm done. All right, here we go. We're going to go through and I'm hoping that they're able to fit through here. If not, if not, we are going to have a problem. Slow down. Oh! hit the brakes buddy i want to test you oh i see she's trying to stick it along the, along the other side of this sign all right let's do a little climb in here yeah because look at that it's fine we're able to fit literally just barely right underneath it's the sign that's the problem and right now she's got it just barely sneaking past that sign oh but we're along the guardrail doing it okay well you know what i trust you sarah you let's see if you can see if you can do it here we go nice and easy right on past the sign oh oh sarah stop oh sarah stop oh gosh stop stop sarah 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 stop stop you're hitting the bridge oh boy we didn't get past the sign oh <laughs> oh that's a mess oh this has been who planned it who planned this route y'all we already got stuck earlier but but that that was child's play compared to what we just did we have really messed up i had to call the county dot they're sending a crew out here right now to inspect the bridge the only possible solution is to unload it but to unload it we have to back it off and we can't back it off we're stuck on the sign so we'd have to pull it forward to try and unload it 
but they don't want me to move until they've come and confirmed the structural integrity of the bridge. So we're going to be sad here for a little while. Well, the bridge boys just showed up and they, uh, they're not very happy with me. We didn't do any structural damage really to the bridge. Nothing overly threatening. We did quite screw up their sign though. But I was just talking to them and about how we can get out of the situation. They said, give her a go, try and back up out of this. So I'm going to take over the trunk here real quick. And we're going to see if we can back up one, two, three three, four, what, four or five different articulation points. All right, let's see if we can back it up off that. Oh, gosh. Do you see that thing just eating into the sign there? There we go, backing it up. Our, our rear bumper is going to get all kinds of messed up here, but it is what it is. We're just going to have to push it back and maybe ruin those axles. E, the Komatsu came all the way off the trailer too. Look at that. We got a tire on the ground and everything. All right, so that might give us enough room to unload this now. And they've given us permission to unload this thing, seeing how we've already caused a lot of problems. So let's just fire it up here. There we go. Got it running. We're going to pick that up just a little bit and see if we can't back this off the trailer. There we go. And don't hit the sign again, Jake. Don't hit the sign again. This thing doesn't even fit under here normally. Let's see if we can maybe bend it around that sign. Oh, yeah, we can. Am I? amazing or what y'all we just bent around that sign but now i gotta move this truck more all right there we go right underneath the bucket the bucket's fine all right now we can pick that bucket up make sure we're clearing the guardrails Whew. well that's one way to handle it i suppose huh and now just very easily put it right back on the trailer all right i might feel like it's been ages but we've got that all <laughs> uh, we've 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 dealt with the issue we got to figure out how to make this turn through a stoplight, too. Oh, well, here we go. We'll see what happens. Easy, buddy. There we go. He's cleared them all so far. Dude, that was an easy turn. That was actually way easier than I thought it would be. All right. You ready to get some speed? We're going to get on the interstate finally. This trip has been such a mess. I am so ready to get it done. Oh, no. Bridge. This bridge is low. Come on, people. What's with you and low bridges? Slow it down. There you go. I want you to come up here nice and easy. Gotta see if you can fit underneath here, bud. All right, right there. Hope we are shutting down the entire interstate right now. Woo! Um, hey, fellas. I don't think it's gonna fit. I think we've just met our third issue on this trip. In fact, when I say I don't think it's gonna fit, I know it's not gonna fit. Let's see what happens. Yep, it didn't fit. Stop. Hey, stop. Stop giving her the beans. There you go. Back it up. Back it up. Guess what we got to do again. Got to unload it. Boy, this sure was an inconvenient route for us to have to take. Guess I'm going to be smacking the route planner when I get back to the office. All right. You know what? I think we've had so many issues that you guys get how the rest of this trip is going to go. I'm declaring the a loss. It's not a victory today, so it is what it is. If you enjoyed, then make sure you get a big old thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace. Can you picture you and me in the darkness, kissing, touching?